Today's guest is a millennial game changer, yeah. kind of like you, right? I don't know about that, but Anna <laughs> Zhang is the founding editor and uh, chief editor of PulseSpikes.com, and we'd like to welcome her here to CT Style. Welcome, Anna. Thank you for having me. It's, it's great to have you here, and you came all the way up from New York, so thanks yeah. for waking up at the uh, crack of dawn and, <laughs> and joining us here in Connecticut. Mm -hmm. So how do you juggle everything, high school and uh, being an editor of a magazine? I think it's finding and maintaining the balance between the two. I definitely think education comes before everything. So first I try to manage my schedule by including some things that I like, like doing photo shoots or meeting new people. And I try to work that along my school schedule. Got it. All right. So we have to... No, talk I was, about I was going to say it's very important to do. You have to have that work-life balance. Absolutely. It doesn't yeah. work otherwise. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's talk about Ignite. That's one of the newest projects mm -hmm. you're working on. So Ignite is a social good project in collaboration with nonprofit organization Covenant House. Covenant House is the leading nonprofit organization dedicated to helping homeless youth and ending child trafficking. So we partnered with them to create the project Ignite, which is a two-part project. The first part of the project is an online platform, and the second part is a book. The online platform allows for youth across the world to share their stories on issues affecting teens, mm -hmm. as well as how they're creating change in their community. And the second part of the project is a book, and it features talents across many different professions. So we had young celebrities like dancers, actors, singers contribute written pieces on issues affecting teens and how they're shaping the world. And all profits from this project are donated to Covenant House. Now, did, did you write one yourself as, as the editor? <laughs> yes, I, I wrote hope. the introduction, and I did all the photography for the book as well. Did you really? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Now, now, these are people uh, typically in New York or all across the U.S.? All across the U.S. Wow, so you're busy. You must be yeah. traveling a lot. And, mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I know you kind of got your start from being so popular on Instagram with your yeah. pictures, right? Mm -hmm. So really, I started taking pictures of my everyday life oh. on, and posting it on social media. And I received a great amount of response to that. So it kind of propelled me into trying digital photography, which is how I got my start with working with internationally renowned brands such as Uniqlo and Walgreens, to name a few. And from there, I thought that I was in a position where I could help other young creatives get their start, which is why I started Pulse Spikes, which is an online and quarterly print magazine made by young people for young people. Very wow, cool. So, so what advice do you have for young entrepreneurs, photographers, up-and-coming TV hosts, whatever it may be, <laughs> what advice do you have for them to, to kind of get things started? I mean, obviously the website is very important, but, but just mm -hmm. overall some advice for them. So first and foremost, I think you have to push yourself beyond the limits, and I think that means trying new things and kind of pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone, and I think you can learn a great deal from that. And then my second piece of advice would probably be to, as cliche as it sounds, to never give up. Mm -hmm. Because when I tried to establish this magazine at the beginning, I received a lot of rejection and a lot of people told me, no, you can't do this, yeah. or no, it's not possible at your age, and things like that. Well, it's good that and you're persistent with it. That's, yeah. that's, what, it, that's what it's all about. So make sure exactly. you guys uh, check it out, PulseSpikes.com. Anna, we want to thank you for being here. And it's great that you're inspiring young <laughs> yeah, ones. Yeah, thanks for what you thank do. Thank you for 